Hello everyone. Today's the day I took the Cobra to Daytona and got to race around on the Rolex 24 hour course. It's a great day. It was hot though. But uh, July and late July and August in Florida, that's pretty much what you expect. I have to apologize for the wind noise on the video. Uh, I tried something. My camcorder has two covers. One sealed it up for underwater and it didn't leave much motor noise. And the other one had some holes in it for better volume. And I put some cellophane tape over them hoping that I wouldn't get all of the wind noise. But I did. But, uh, little short video this is uh, about four or five laps I think and I get to chase down a few cars I hope you enjoy This is the NASCAR turns three and four and doing about 120 here and as we go down the front stretch to the dog leg it gets it up into the mid 140s. And here we're pulling up on the NASCAR's turn one and two. Uh, the rules are that we can't pass anybody until they signal. So there's instances here where we sneak up on them and I got to follow them for a while. And there's designated passing zones only on the straights here or in the turns in the banking. And it keeps everything reasonably safe. And this is just fun. There's no trophies. There's no reward, nobody times it officially. Uh, the app that I use to film, I can get my data times and uh, lap times. And I had a good day. I uh, hit a personal best top speed and a personal best on uh, lap times. It was a good day.
I have a faster car coming up so I point him on where to pass and I back out a little bit so they can make the pass cleanly before it comes up on any turns. The Cobra held its own pretty good. It uh, was as fast as the majority of them. Of the, but there were some really fast cars. There's some Z06s. There was some Vipers. And uh, some of those Corvettes were set up really, really good. They, they hauled the mail pretty nice. But it was nice chasing them, trying to see if I keep them in sight. There was only about three of them there that I couldn't keep up with without driving harder and faster than I wanted to. There's being production, production solidly built cars and mine being a little home built hot rod. Uh, I let common sense prevail. The two big gauges on the dash, the one on the left is the speedometer and the one on the right is the tachometer. Uh, I've got it set for 6,000 on the rev limiter. It's kind of hard to see but every now and then the glare goes away and it's kind of neat seeing that speedometer needle almost all the way around. It gets pretty quick out there. could have passed this guy in the white car but he didn't give me a pass signal so I have to hold on because the, the uh, passing zone runs out here to start finish line but I get up on him and get in his mirrors and let him go here he, he kind of indicated for me to pass but he didn't slow up enough for me to get by before I got to the start finish which was the end of the passing zone so I backed off and then when I got to here he finally does tell me to pass but it is in a non-passing zone that he slowed down enough and the stewards didn't give me any grief over it so I got him out of the way.
And here's where I just kind of trimmed out the video so it wouldn't be so long. It's just cars going around in sort of circles. But I had a really great day. Ran three sessions and uh, had a good time. It was hot, but I, I came prepared a little bit. Brought my little fan and sat in my trailer. But uh, hope to do it again before the year's up. But we'll just have to see. Hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching, and we'll try to do it again. Well, after giving it some thought, here is one lap from my iPhone, which has the app that gives the data. Uh, I can't do anything about the shakiness unless I guess to try to buy a really expensive camera mount, but I've already bought two and they just don't get much better than this. But if you look in the lower left, it gives you uh, the data for G-forces, and it gives the mile per hour, and it gives a little icon that moves around there, shows where you're at on the track. It's a good little program. I just wish I could get my camera to mount somewhere it doesn't shake so bad. But the little home-built race car, it, uh, it likes to shake. So watch it. Hope it gives you some information that you can enjoy. And as I said before, I'll try to get another track day and add to it.